Well, the Windy City hopping with Big Ten basketball coaches and players for their annual Big Ten Media Days. Jeremy Rao was in Chicago for all their early madness. Right out of the gates, the mic drops. Uh, five returning players. Uh, good thing it was on TV today, right? <laughs> and Tim Miles is well aware Nebraska is picked to finish last. If you're picked first, you have to take you know, the most questions, and as you get down to picked at the end, you get to take the least questions. So I'm taking one. Miles wasn't kidding. At the core, the official tip off to Big Ten basketball, covering a lot of ground. At the forefront, the perception of John Gross after one year in the league is sky high. He's one of the best coaches around. Doesn't matter how long he's been a head coach or not. He just he knows how to win. He's got a great blueprint for it. You know, he was able to get you know his system in at a, at a pretty rapid pace. They were very very successful early in the season, and uh, you know did a did a great job with him. The new faces, Minnesota's Richard Pitino and Northwestern's Chris Collins, a former Duke assistant who can't wait to face in-state rival Illinois. Oh, it's it's great. I mean, I, I think it's great that, you know, hopefully we can get to the point where, you know, we can compete against those kind of programs. And, you know, that's one of those games where, to me, we should be playing two times a year. But, you know, we play once, they'll come to Chicago. I'm sure it'll be a great environment. As for the favorites, Michigan State selected unanimously number one by the experts. Michigan coming in second, Ohio State third. Illinois voted eighth by the media. There's a lot of good teams, you know. I mean, Indiana loses a couple good players, but they got some good players coming back and well coached, and Michigan's going to be very good. And Ohio State, you know, when you got Kraft and, and the rest of that crew. You know, guys are competing hard. We're pretty inconsistent right now, which is normal, but, but we're going to get there. You know, I like our guys, and, and um, you know, they're up for challenges, and we're anxious to start competing. There's a lot of chatter on Big Ten Media Day about who's going to be there at the end of the season. But on Halloween, it's really about who gets that treat when it's all said and done, and that's a Big Ten championship. Reporting from Big Ten Media Day in Rosemont, Illinois, Jeremy Rao, ABC News Channel 20.